High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is called the silent killer for good reason. It often has no symptoms but is a major risk of heart disease and stroke. High blood pressure affects about 1 billion people worldwide and about 45% of adults in the United States. People with high blood pressure will have a systolic reading of 130 mm of mercury or above, or a diastolic reading of 80 mm of mercury or higher. Systolic blood pressure is the pressure when the heart beats, while diastolic pressure is the pressure between heartbeats. For many people with heart disease, high blood pressure is the first sign. The Food and Drug Administration states that high blood pressure may cause no other symptoms, so a person should not assume that they have healthy blood pressure just because they feel fine. High blood pressure causes the blood to pump through the blood vessels with more force than is necessary. Sometimes, this is due to underlying disease in the arteries, which is itself a risk factor for heart attack and stroke. High blood pressure can also damage the heart and blood vessels over time, as well as affecting other organs. So high blood pressure can lead to several health complications. According to the American Heart Association, potential complications include Stroke Heart disease Angina Heart failure Peripheral artery disease Loss of vision Sexual dysfunction Kidney disease or failure High blood pressure is a common cause of heart disease, which is responsible for one in four deaths in the United States, making it the leading nationwide cause of death. A person can take several steps to control their high blood pressure at home, both naturally and medically. Taking these steps can reduce the risk of severe complications. By changing certain behavioral habits, you may be able to keep your blood pressure down and avoid blood pressure spikes. In this video, we're going to share with you 16 ways to lower your blood pressure naturally, even without medication. One, walk and exercise regularly. Exercise is one of the best things you can do to lower high blood pressure. Regular exercise helps make your heart stronger and more efficient at pumping blood, which lowers the pressure in your arteries. In fact, walking just 30 minutes a day, getting 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week, or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise, such as running, can help lower blood pressure and improve heart health. Getting more exercise helps reduce it even further. 2. Reduce your sodium intake. Salt intake is high around the world. This is largely due to increased consumption of processed and prepared foods. Many studies have linked high salt intake with high blood pressure and heart events, including stroke. If you already have high blood pressure, it's worth cutting back your sodium intake to see if it makes a difference. Swap out processed foods with fresh ingredients and try seasoning with herbs and spices rather than salt. 3. Drink less alcohol. Drinking alcohol can raise blood pressure and increase the risk of several chronic health conditions, including high blood pressure. While some research has suggested that low to moderate amounts of alcohol may protect the heart, those benefits may be offset by adverse effects. In the United States, moderate alcohol consumption is defined as no more than one drink per day for females and two drinks per day for males. If you drink more than that, it might be best to consider reducing your intake. 4. Eat more potassium-rich foods. Potassium is an important mineral that helps your body get rid of sodium and eases pressure on your blood vessels. Modern diets have increased most people's sodium intake while decreasing potassium intake. To get a better balance of potassium to sodium in your diet, focus on eating fewer processed foods and more fresh, whole foods. Foods that are particularly high in potassium include vegetables, especially leafy greens, tomatoes, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Fruit, including melons, bananas, avocados, oranges, and apricots. Dairy, such as milk and yogurt. Tuna and salmon. Nuts and seeds. Beans. 5. Cut back on caffeine. If you've ever downed a cup of coffee before you've had your blood pressure taken, you'll know that caffeine causes an instant boost. 
that means caffeine can cause a short-term spike in blood pressure. However, there's not much evidence to suggest that drinking caffeine regularly can cause a lasting increase. In fact, people who drink caffeinated coffee or tea tend to have a lower risk of heart disease, including high blood pressure, than those who do not drink it. Still, if you suspect you're sensitive to the effects of caffeine, consider cutting back to see if it lowers your blood pressure. 6. Learn to manage stress. Stress is a key driver of high blood pressure. When you're chronically stressed, your body is in a constant fight-or-flight mode. On a physical level, that means a faster heart rate and constricted blood vessels. When you experience stress, you might also be more likely to engage in other behaviors that can adversely affect blood pressure, such as drinking alcohol or eating processed foods. Several studies have explored how reducing stress can help lower blood pressure. Here are two evidence-based tips to try. Listen to soothing music. Calming music can help relax your nervous system. Research has shown it's an effective complement to other blood pressure therapies. Work less. Working a lot and stressful work situations are both linked to high blood pressure. 7. Eat dark chocolate or cocoa. While eating massive amounts of dark chocolate probably won't help your heart, small amounts may. That's because dark chocolate and cocoa powder are rich in flavonoids, which are plant compounds that cause blood vessels to dilate. A review of studies found that flavonoid-rich cocoa may reduce short-term blood pressure levels in healthy adults. For the strongest effects, use non-alkalized cocoa powder, which is especially high in flavonoids and has no added sugars. 8. Lose weight. In people with overweight, losing weight can make a big difference to heart health. According to a 2016 study, losing 5% of your body weight could significantly lower high blood pressure. The effect is even greater when weight loss is paired with exercise. Losing weight can help your blood vessels do a better job of expanding and contracting, making it easier for the left ventricle of the heart to pump blood. 9. If you smoke, consider quitting. Among the many reasons to quit smoking is that the habit is a strong risk factor for heart disease. Every puff of cigarette smoke causes a slight, temporary increase in blood pressure. The chemicals in tobacco are also known to damage blood vessels. However, studies haven't found a conclusive link between smoking and high blood pressure. This could be because people who smoke regularly develop a tolerance over time. Still, since both smoking and high blood pressure raise the risk of heart disease, quitting smoking can help lessen that risk. 10. Cut added sugar and refined carbs. There's a growing body of research showing a link between added sugar intake and high blood pressure. In one study, increased consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages was linked to higher blood pressure levels in children and adolescents. And it's not just sugar, all refined carbs, such as the kind found in white flour, convert rapidly to sugar in your bloodstream and could cause problems. Some studies have shown that low-carb diets may also help reduce blood pressure. In fact, one review of 12 studies showed that following a low-carb diet could reduce systolic and diastolic blood pressure, along with several other risk factors for heart disease. 11. Eat berries. Berries are full of more than just juicy flavor. They're also packed with polyphenols, natural plant compounds that are good for your heart. Polyphenols can reduce the risk of stroke, heart conditions, and diabetes and improve blood pressure, insulin resistance, and systemic inflammation. People consuming berries and polyphenol-rich foods experienced improved markers of heart disease risk. 12. Try meditation or deep breathing. While these two behaviors could also fall under stress reduction techniques, meditation and deep breathing deserve specific mention. Both meditation and deep breathing may activate the parasympathetic nervous system. This system is engaged when the body relaxes, slowing the heart rate, and lowering blood pressure. There's quite a bit of research in this area, with studies showing that different styles of meditation appear to have benefits for lowering blood pressure. Deep breathing techniques can also be quite effective. In one study, people who practiced diaphragmatic breathing, a deep breathing technique, 
twice daily for four weeks experienced a reduction in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. 13. Eat calcium-rich foods. People with low calcium intake often have high blood pressure. While calcium supplements haven't been conclusively shown to lower blood pressure, calcium-rich diets do seem to be linked to healthful levels. For most adults, the calcium recommendation is 1,000 mg per day. However, some individuals may require higher amounts, including older adults. In addition to dairy, you can get calcium from collard greens and other leafy greens, beans, sardines, and tofu. 14. Take natural supplements. Some natural supplements may also help lower blood pressure. Here are some of the main supplements that have evidence behind them. Aged Garlic Extract Researchers have used aged garlic extract successfully as a standalone treatment and along with conventional therapies for lowering blood pressure. Berberine Though more research is needed, some studies have found that berberine could potentially help lower blood pressure levels. Whey Protein a 2016 study found that whey protein improved blood pressure and blood vessel function in 38 participants. Fish oil. Long credited with improving heart health, fish oil may benefit people with high blood pressure the most. Hibiscus. Hibiscus flowers make a tasty tea. They're rich in anthocyanins and polyphenols that are good for your heart and may lower blood pressure. 15. Eat foods rich in magnesium. Magnesium is an important mineral that helps blood vessels relax. While magnesium deficiency is pretty rare, many people don't get enough magnesium in their diet. Some studies have suggested that getting too little magnesium is linked with high blood pressure, but evidence from clinical studies has been less clear. Still, you can ensure that you're meeting your needs by enjoying a variety of magnesium-rich foods, including vegetables, dairy products, legumes, chicken, meat, and whole grains. 16. Make sure to get good, restful sleep. Your blood pressure typically dips down when you're sleeping. If you don't sleep well, it can affect your blood pressure. People who experience sleep deprivation, especially those who are middle-aged, have an increased risk of high blood pressure. For some people, getting a good night's sleep isn't easy. These are some of the many ways to help you get restful sleep. Try setting a regular sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up the same time each day. Try to keep the same schedule on weeknights and on weekends. Spend time relaxing before bedtime. Do something relaxing in the hour before bedtime. That might include taking a warm bath or doing relaxation exercises. Avoid daytime naps. For those who find napping during the day helpful, limiting naps to 30 minutes earlier in the day might help nighttime sleep. Make your bedroom comfortable. That means keeping the sleeping space cool, quiet and dark. Avoid bright light, such as from a TV or computer screen. Watch what you eat and drink. Don't go to bed hungry or stuffed. Avoid large meals close to bedtime. Limit or avoid nicotine, caffeine and alcohol close to bedtime, as well. The 2010 National Sleep Heart Health Study found that regularly sleeping fewer than 7 hours a night and more than 9 hours a night was associated with an increased rate of high blood pressure. Regularly sleeping fewer than 5 hours a night was linked to a significant risk of high blood pressure long term. When to see a doctor? Measuring blood pressure is the only way to determine whether it is high. People can visit their doctor for a routine blood pressure monitoring. Alternatively, people can ask their doctor for advice on how to measure their blood pressure at home. People at risk of developing high blood pressure must have regular health checkups and monitor their blood pressure at home. A person should also see their doctor if they have high blood pressure, and their efforts to lower their blood pressure are ineffective. Takeaway High blood pressure affects a large proportion of the world's population. While medication is one way to treat the condition, there are many other natural techniques that can help, including eating certain foods. Controlling your blood pressure through the methods in this video may, ultimately, help you lower your risk of heart disease. Thank you for watching our video. We always provide the latest information useful for improving your health. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again.